Welcome back. We're now going to customize equipment category. This happens to be one of the most important functions in this process. We shall see how equipment category is used to define things like the equipment master layout, which object information will be displayed, and whether the piece of equipment can be configured among other functions. The customizing path is SPRO, IMG, then to plant maintenance and customer service, master data in plant maintenance and customer service, then to technical objects, equipment, equipment categories, and finally to maintain equipment category. We have our equipment categories here. This is the reference categories column. We have about three choices here. We have machines, production resources and tools, and customer equipment. This is a description of the equipment category. We have, we can check this to activate change documents and W to trigger workflow events. We have object information here. We need to en enter that information. Then we have the view profile. And then we have this column here, which relates to material type and construction type synchronization. This is something that we are going to look at in a later video. Then we have CC, which refers to creation of change documents when creating a piece of equipment. And LI, which determines whether you want linear data for the piece of equipment. So let us take a quick, quick look at the process of creating a new entry. So we go to new entries, then we assign our reference category that is machines. Then we can enter our description here. We can check this box here to activate change documents. And there's one to trigger workflow events. We enter object information, which is going to be PM then the view profile which we will have already created so we can for the purpose of this illustration we can just go with the first one here then if we want to create change documents then we can go ahead and check that and if we want to enter linear data for this piece of equipment we can check that box there so that is how we customize equipment category. The next thing that we need to do is to define additional views for equipment categories. These are additional tab pages within equipment master record. We're gonna go back to our earlier screen and instead of maintaining equipment category, we are going to define additional business views for equipment categories. So we go ahead and open that and we go to configuration and here what we want to do is to activate or deactivate uh, these views here. The first one is PLTs. We can make our selection here. Then we have S that is if we want to maintain sales related fields. We need to have that one checked. If we want to assign configurable material to the piece of equipment, we need to have this one checked. And this one here activates serial data. That is, if we want to store serial data in addition to normal equipment data. We have other field that is if we want to see additional freely configurable tab pages, we need to check it. 
and finally we have the configuration control view so that is how we define additional views for equipment categories we now need to define whether usage history is to be created for each equipment category we're gonna go back to our alias screen and this time you're going to go to equipment usage period then to usage history update for equipment categories you want the usage history to be updated and to do that you make sure that this box is checked for machines and you can do the same for the rest of the equipment where you want your usage history in that category to be updated so once you do that you can go ahead and save and that data will be uh, available when you need it so the next thing is that we also need to define history related fields and we do that by going back to the same equipment usage period and this time we're going to go to define history related fields again if you want history to be updated whenever you change fields these fields here you need to check the boxes for that particular field so again once you do that you can go ahead and save so the other thing we need to do is to define installation and functional location so again we go back to equipment usage period and now we want to define installation and functional location so what you do here is you want to define whether to permit installation at a functional location so if you want to have your machines installed at a functional location then you need to have them checked and the same applies to the equipment categories the last thing that we're going to look at is going to be allowing multilingual text maintenance for each equipment category so if you want to do that you go ahead and open it and if you want to maintain multilingual text uh, for machines then you're going to have that checked we're going to move on to fleet management in the next video